All right, everyone, we are here with a very special guest. We are joined by actress and now Love Island U.S. host, Sarah Hyland. Thank Hello. you for joining us. Thank you for having me. We're so excited to have you in studio. This is so great. We love Love Island. Um, so we're super excited for the, the revamp and everything that's happening now that it's over on uh, Peacock. And we can't wait to watch. I believe I'm when everybody, when you guys are listening to this interview, you'll be able to watch because it's Tuesday, July 19th when it uh, when it premieres. But talk us through this process. How did you decide that you wanted to be the host of Love Island U.S.? Um, when they asked me to be the host yeah. of Love Island <laughs> USA, <laughs> that's what I decided that I would yeah. be. Um, it, it definitely just kind of like came out of nowhere. Um, but I'm so honored and like feel so privileged and hashtag blast yeah. <laughs> uh, to be able to be a part of such an iconic show. I mean, Love Island in all countries is yeah. just iconic. Yeah. So um, I'm so, so excited for everyone to get watching and it's going. <laughs> Do you watch Love Island? Like yes. all the Love Islands? I haven't seen Australia. Okay, me either. I haven't seen that one I've yet. Australia. No. I, I focus on the Australia is very emotional. They cry really? a lot. Yes. Oh, maybe I should watch it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, would be into that. <laughs> they, they cry a lot. I just know if I watch Australia, I will just start speaking with an Australian accent yeah. nonstop. Because when I watch UK, I find myself being like, oh, fancy a chat. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah. Right, <laughs> from right. New York. Stop it. <laughs> yep. yep, that's exactly. We That's what hooked us into Love Island in the first place was yeah. UK. And then when the USA version came out, we were like, this is awesome. Like, yeah. This is just everything we dream of. And now that it's on Peacock, I feel like it's great because people I'm just like- for the changes. Exactly. Like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of different changes. Things are going to like- be longer now because mm -hmm. I feel like USA was like definitely shorter than the UK. Yeah. But I'm really excited. Now, how is filming? Like, what's the process of this now? Right. What's the commitment like? As yeah, the because isn't this <laughs> like an everyday affair? It is. Yes, I am getting updates as we speak oh of my God. what's going on in the villa. I can't believe we're sitting next to each yeah, other like that. Wow, that's why I left my phone in the other room. It's like, wow, she got a text. <laughs> yeah. I, I literally yeah. got a text. Um, it's wild, it's crazy, it's fun. And uh, so the Islanders, we shoot in real time. Um, so that way that America can vote and really feel included like they are actually like kind of there in the villa. Mm -hmm. um, the commitment time for me is like not every day. Yeah. Obviously, I'm, I'm here. Right. Yes. I was going to say, like, right. how are you? You're in New York. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're, in, they're filming in L.A., right? California coast. California yeah. coast. Okay. California Interesting. coast. Beautiful. Gorgeous villa. I cannot wait for everybody to see the villa. There are some new things there that I think people will really, really love that I'm kind of jealous of. I'm like, I want, wait, no, I want this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can you guys, like, bring this over to my house, please? Um, it's so, so cute. But because we're on Peacock now, it's just going to be, like, sexier, steamier, straight. Premier. It's so good. Yeah, like, that's why I was really excited that it was on Peacock because I was like, I think they could just say and do oh, a I love lot that it's more. Gonna be oh yeah, because in the UK, yeah, more hours too. Yeah, I was noticing it. I was watching this weekend and I was like, they're saying fuck, con like they're saying all these things, and I'm like, wait, they couldn't say that yeah. originally on US Network. like because they no, it was, right, it was on CBS, CBS. We're and on they streamer and now yeah. and now you it's say whatever the yeah, fuck now, you want right. exactly. They <laughs> <laughs> tried to do like the bonus episodes and that was like oh I didn't even know that yeah it, I, I don't anytime there's like a bonus episode I'm like just make it an episode just, yeah, just you make know an episode. just make an episode I don't want to go somewhere else to have to watch it so it's great that it's on me Peacock yeah um I can't wait for for that format but like I guess what I mean so they approached you to take this job Yes, that, and had you? I already, was not like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would love <laughs> to be host. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would love to be the host. So, how much did you watch Love Island before that? Yes. Okay, so you were already a fan. Yes, that's perfect. Yeah, I love those these types of shows. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> obviously. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> were you trying yes. to get into like the hosting role? I have been hosting um, a lot over. Mm -hmm. uh, for a while i mean mm -hmm. i've hosted like the teen choice awards yeah. i've presented i've i've hosted shows before like i come from like also a theater background as well so it, it is like very easy for me to like feel the energy and be like oh, 
I'm not gonna, I'm either gonna leave that alone or I'm gonna push further a bit. Um, so it is definitely probably the most mainstream hosting thing that I've done, other than like probably Teen Choice Awards yeah, kind right, of stuff. Right. But um, but yeah, it's just so it's so much fun. And like I I know I'm the host of Love Island USA, but you know I when I met those girls in the villa for the first time, literally like less than 48 hours ago. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I literally, it feels so weird. I, like, I, we're yeah. going to watch on TV, and then you're here. I know. I, I, yeah, I left the villa and, like, essentially hopped on a plane to come here. Yeah. So um, uh, when I'm meeting them, I just, like, I don't want them to feel like I'm the doomsday host coming in to right. ruin mm-hmm. the time and be like, hey, Rick, a couple things happening. Yeah. Get ready to be sad and cry. Yep. Um, I, we were just like kikiing, like just like getting to know each other and stuff. And like, I'm the type of woman who is going to tell you the truth if you ask me for advice. So um, I really hope they do. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to hold back. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because almost, I mean, obviously you want to trust the people you're in the villa with, but at the same time, they're looking for the same thing you're looking for. Mm-hmm. And like, they may have their eye on a guy that you're looking for. So like you as an outsider perspective, it's probably great because you're going to give them what you actually feel about, like, a guy they may be interested in. honest answer. Yeah, and, like, vice versa with the guys and, yeah. and the girls, you know? Like, s- sometimes men can be emotional. Mm-hmm. Some, s- mm-hmm. so- sometimes. sometimes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's some. There are some. Yeah. It's happened. Yeah. <laughs> men have cried. Shockingly enough. Men Shockingly have cried enough. on reality TV. Yeah. 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 All the time. All the time. <laughs> Do you have, like, a hosting voice that you get into? I, not that I'm aware of. But probably if when you, you watch see it back. It, let me know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll circle back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like maybe. I also just have a different voice dependent on where I am mm-hmm. as right. well. You know, um, we have such a diverse cast. Like we have it's not just people from the States. We yeah. have some people from the UK, from Brazil. I love it. Um, we're an international cast, baby. <laughs> yeah. And um, so I did find that when I was talking to one of the girls, I was like, I mean, you know. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, don't do that, Sarah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I do have a host voice, but um, but I not putting it on at least <laughs> yeah that's just overtaking your body just overtaking yeah. just the actor inside me is like perform yeah, yeah. Exactly. be the host <laughs> imagine that can you imagine the, yeah, yeah yeah, yeah. And, and welcome to love island yeah and that, and she <laughs> sat down with us and was like no i didn't change no, my I voice at all voice. Yeah. and then we put it on tomorrow like, and that's Sarah, exactly how she's what speaking are you talking about <laughs> all of a sudden i turn into judy, judy garland yeah, yeah. yeah. but we, <laughs> we wouldn't be able to turn it off though then we'd be like we gotta see where she's going with this where what is the next act that she's gonna do <laughs> oh my, each, something to think about. Yeah, each maybe. Each time you come out, maybe you just maybe sound yeah, different. just sound different. Just, just mix keep up the Islander on their toes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Now, because they're filming in California, is it like, can you go home back and forth? Yeah. It's just. Yeah, I that's can. so nice. It is that's so, so nice. nice. I have stayed like overnight at least once now just for like the turnarounds and stuff. Mm-hmm. But um, But it is great. I get to go home and be with the dogs and Wells and. He says hi, by the way. Yes. Yes. We, we, we are big we fans of Wells. Well. I literally just got off well. the phone with him. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you because he came and did our LA live show. Yes. And it was really funny because you were calling him in the middle of it. Oh, yeah. He was pissed. And, he, but he was telling a story like a about, story about you. you and Vanessa Hutchins. Yeah. Um, about how he accidentally. Oh, when he rubbed her back. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. I would love to hear it from your perspective. But it was just like the perfect timing of like, <laughs> he literally was telling the story and he was like, like I know oh why. Oh my God, she's calling me right now. Yeah, like, did she hear this? Like, he was like, did somebody tweet it to her? <laughs> <laughs> that is a funny story. I mean, it's it's happened. It's happened with V and I before with like other guys where they just were just really tall. <laughs> my God, Quite the opposite. Audience, yeah, my Freudian slip. Yeah. Our personalities yes. are very big and tall. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're just very small brunette human beings that mm-hmm. like can get an amazing tan. So like, yeah. there you go. It's fine. Yes, that's totally <laughs> fair. You are just coming off your bachelorette party. Yes, I am. How was it? She's drinking water yeah. right now. <laughs> it looked like an absolute blast. It really, really was. It was the best time. I just, um, 
I'm really proud of myself for putting together like the best group of people. <laughs> there you Where go. Did you yeah. guys, where did you go? <laughs> we went to Mexico. Fine. And uh, there were 13 of us, including myself. And it was just, they're just. Good number. They're great number. Good number. Lucky number 13. Yeah. yeah. And, um, uh, it was it was amazing. We had so much fun. I'm just so grateful to have those types of people in my life. They're really just yeah. cream of the crop. So yeah, you went from great. Bachelorette to Love Island. Island. Love Island. Yeah. Love is just the, around you. you. Love is around those, you constantly. Like knowing that they were going to be that close together? No. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> yeah. there's no way. Yeah, no. I, uh, <laughs> no. I, <laughs> I did, uh, I, I mean, you know, we have our like wedding stuff planned out and everything. And that's why it's so great that Love Island USA is filming on the California coast because right. mm-hmm. I'm able to like. Right, you didn't have to fly to Fiji. Do wedding stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. As, and at, at the same time as that, and like actually have to cancel that because it just like really worked out for the best. It was great. But I did like shoot some promos and, and do everything like for Love Island the day before I left for my bachelorette and then like came back and immediately went into it again. Yeah. So you, I almost feel like, this may be crazy. Sometime when you're, sometimes when you're like really hungover, it's almost better to have something that you have to do because then you don't like sit in the hangover. Oh yeah, like, and it goes away faster because yes. you're like, I don't even have time to like nurse this or act like I'm yeah. hungover. Because when you have like a whole weekend, mom's got to get a job done. Yeah, yeah. when you have yeah. a whole weekend to recover from something, I feel like it just like lingers on and on until you like have something to do. Yeah, mm-hmm. your body feels it for sure. That's why my friends and Wells and in-laws call me vacation Sarah (laughs) because I'm always like somehow the last to bed and the first awake and I'm like come on let's go what are we doing today let's have fun on vacation only yeah (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) you're just trying to make the most of it yeah trying to make the most of it like you're only at like a beautiful place for like a certain amount of days so like come on you gotta get it for what it's worth yeah I think that's great what's the most fun thing you did on your bachelorette do you think or you can't say it out loud (laughs) Um, uh, I mean, we just had, we didn't like go out to like with with COVID and stuff. Mm-hmm. Where I was just like, no, thank you. I have to go meet Islanders when yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. They've been quarantining. I don't want to mess that up. So we never like really left the house. Um, we had a boat day and that was an absolute amazing day um and that's the only thing that we did really that was outside of the house so it was um so you're basically in love island yourself yeah Yeah. we're in our own little (laughs) villa love highland yeah yeah um mm -hmm. and uh i so we probably the best thing that we did was probably just like drink wine and have a musical theater night while like singing like Wicked and Rent and dancing on tables. Honestly, Honestly, that just sounds sounds so much fun. That happens to me and my friends all the time. We end up like singing Hairspray at the top of our lungs by the end of the night. Being in like a beautiful house and not having to leave it and like pool, whatever. It's just like, why would you even want to leave it at that point? Why? You're on the beach. You have a Mm -hmm. pool. Amazing food. You have like a 30 person dining room table to dance on and sing Rent on Mm -hmm. and do the entire musical <laughs> of Chicago. You performed the whole thing, I'm <laughs> guessing. Performed the entire thing on a table. Like, what else What, yeah. what else is there to do on a bachelor? Yeah. I don't even know. Exactly. <laughs> and you don't have to worry about being in public, right? It's like, we're in the yeah. privacy yeah. of our own home. Could do whatever you want. It was great. And then go to sleep right after. Yes. We did a, um, one of the nights, it was actually, it was a really, really beautiful night. We did a um, sound bath meditation Ooh. with the full moon. The, or the, night the super the moon. moon. The yeah. super moon full moon and capricorn it was gorgeous um and we did that and that was that was really really that lovely sounds, that sounds amazing r- relaxing at at the same time as probably chaotic <laughs> oh yeah it was very it was like very cathartic for some very eye-opening for others it was great mm-hmm. and then literally the next night we had there were like fire dancers and stuff and they performed on the beach us and everything and Amazing. we just like took over their stage and made it our own little nightclub. It was so cute. <laughs> that sounds so much <laughs> so, fun. Yeah. A lot of performances from from the Bachelorette, but now you're so you're home like you and Wells now are just the gatekeepers of yes. love reality yes. television. What do you share with <laughs> each other and what are you like, mm, I can't tell you that. Oh no. <laughs> No, we share everything. Yeah. With yeah, I was going like, to say, that wouldn't happen. That yeah. seems impossible yeah. not to. There are some times I tell him to not tell me certain things that happen on his show. Right. Because I'm like, I want to know. I want to watch. Yeah. 
and I don't right. I don't want this and to he, like, be spoiled. And he has to sit with spoilers for a lot longer than you for do for a lot for longer. <laughs> For a lot longer. I'm also like, he's also there while it's happening, you right. know? Like, I'm not going to be at the villa the whole time or in right. control yeah. and stuff. I feel like you're probably more interested because I would be more interested in, like, the behind-the-scenes drama. Like, not necessarily of, like, what's happening on the show, but, like, what's happening behind <laughs> the show? <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, with with his show? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what's not getting aired? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> I know that stuff. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, jealous. Uh, has he gone hi- on his bachelor party yet? He literally just got back yes yesterday. Okay. Yesterday. So you guys kind of did it around the same time. Yeah. So I mean, we've been ships in the night. So I got back. He left for his Wednesday morning. I got back for mine Wednesday night. He I left for New York Sunday morning, and he got back from his bachelor trip Sunday night. So I'll see him next year. You'll, yeah, yeah. you'll meet again. You'll see him at your wedding. I was going to yeah. say, you'll see him at the altar. I'll see him at the altar. Yeah. Meet you there, babes. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to be in the villa. Time and, time and place. I'll meet you there. No no worries. How, how have you guys been feeling now that after, I know you guys had to postpone and a lot of things like that now that it's finally happening. How do you guys feel? I mean, excited. Yeah. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> right. You still kind of feel like, oh God, I hope something doesn't go wrong. No, I, I, it's happening. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. If no one's there, I don't care. Yeah. As long as he is. Mm-hmm, right. Um. Yeah. No, it's it's gonna happen. I think for me, it's mostly just like I, I I'm so busy. Um, that I just realized I started to get text in from people being like, "Hey, I got the save the date, but not the invitation." And I'm like, "How is that even possible? It's the same list." And then then I'm like, "Oh." I have been very severely postponing, or like uh, procrastinating yeah. mm-hmm. wedding work stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And I need to like get on top of that. Do some people think they're not invited anymore after they get the save the date but not the invitation? Because yes. I've, I've had that feeling before. That's happened to me. I would I've, totally feel I, the same way. I'd I be got like, the save oh, the well. Date for something and then didn't get the invitation and I was like, oh, I'm just not invited. Like, I was yeah. like, oh, I got it. They kicked me off the list. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, I would have the same reaction mm-hmm. to that as well. But I'm like, when it's the creator of the show yeah. <laughs> that you're on for 11 years, you're invited, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry. I don't know how that didn't get to you. Yeah. <laughs> I must have slipped. What's happening? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's well, funny. I can't, like, I, I'm so happy for you guys. I, we have loved watching everything from the two of you. And I feel like now just... For the summer of love and having you both on these reality shows is going to be so great. We want to play a little game. Oh, I love um, games. It's a working title. It's not that fun. Um, <laughs> it's a working. It's a working title. But in the spirit of Love Island, we're going to do like a little red flag. Okay. Green flag. It was a working title because Fran wanted to like. I wanted to call it. Does he give you the ick? But I hate the term. But she ick. hates ick. But I was like, but it's Love Island, so we can we can go with it. But I just want that out there yes. that I hate the term ick. I just found out literally today what ick means. <laughs> okay, so we'll go with it then. Great. But I just I I feel like people overuse the word ick. Like they call everything an ick, and I'm like, not everything, but we'll use it. I don't case. hang out with people anymore. I guess because <laughs> I just no, heard it today for the first time. Nobody in my real life says it. I well, think that's why I don't yes, like it because I don't it's hear people say it off. And it's I think, on the TikTok, and that's why I'm like, no, nobody's saying this in real life. Yeah. So then it frustrates. They me. say it on UK. Yeah, yeah. They and do. you know what? There's so much. Oh, uh, yeah. They, it sounds yeah, much they more do. posh. When yeah, they there's say it, so though. much cooler. Well, than yeah, us. but it just sounds like more of that vernacular. Yeah. When we say it, sounds like we're making a guttural noise Mm -hmm. yes exactly and Mm -hmm. not like a word right yes okay but we'll we'll yes what's the title okay does it give you the egg does it give you the egg yeah you gotta say it in a british accent does it give you the egg oh boy yeah yeah yeah. exactly (laughs) do that tough um okay so we're gonna give a bunch of examples of you know things men do and you'll tell us if you think it gives you the egg or not okay yucky or yummy yeah oh i like that Mm -hmm. okay he takes She's better at this than yeah. us. Yeah. She's yeah. I am. <laughs> um, he takes gym mirror selfies. And sends them to who? Posts them on his Instagram story. Story. <laughs> yeah, that's that felt right. Yeah. I would have said the same thing. I may have gone with posts, but yeah. Instagram story. Let's keep it safe. Yeah. It's a little bit icky. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, that's like girls, an ick for but me. like when girls do it, you're not that icked out, right? So that's why it's like, you know, 
mm, yeah i don't care <laughs> you know i still think it's a little i'm like i don't yeah, like yeah. that but i'm just i'm yeah. playing devil's advocate Fair. yeah yeah <laughs> mm. As Not a tiny me. girl who likes to weight lift, I like to post stuff like that because I'm like, look, I'm strong. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm trying really hard. Right. Yep. And we wouldn't judge you for that. Exactly. Yeah. Um, he calls his dog his child. Yummy. Yeah. <laughs> so yummy, yummy. Yum, like yum, 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 yum. Did you request that because you don't like that? I Do like that? no, I actually don't. I don't mind that, mm-hmm. but I know some people really don't. There are shockingly people out there that are not dog people, because uh, so I never <laughs> thought I would be that not person us. until I got a dog, and I'm always like, "Mommy loves you," and then I catch myself. I'm like, "Ew!" <laughs> like I would never speak like that. Oh, but I know no, I fully like in my soul believe that I gave birth to Boo. She grew in yeah. my uterus yeah. for nine <laughs> months. She is my child. And I do you mean, think that your dog's for that he does yeah, for, for, Carl. for Carl? Do you yeah. think that your dogs look like you in any way? Yes. I believe that. Well, too. she was also she's so she's a chocolate lab mix and so we have the same color hair. And when she was a puppy, she had the exact same green hazelly mm-hmm. eyes that I do as well. And yeah. I was like, Oh, <laughs> you are my child. <laughs> you are my child. Like mother, like daughter. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I love, um, you love that. He says he's never been in love. Ick. How old is he? I don't care how old he is. I'm in yeah. my 30s. It doesn't matter if you're not in old, your 30s. Old you enough to be it. dating in your... In yeah. Your, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Old, when, enough, to old enough to be on dating. Love Island. Yeah. Yeah. If you're on Love Island and and that's something you throw out there, I'm. that's always like, mm. Right. Because yeah. like, they're usually like in their mid-20s and you're just like... You're like, oh, I've never been You've in love. You've never even like been in love with somebody that didn't love you back. Right. You know? Well, yeah. Like, then what, you're not ready for a relationship. I don't want sir. to be the first person that you're in love with. Correct. It's dangerous. Because that's, <laughs> don't be that's one. never. You know, no, 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 no. Number you one want, is never the last. You want a. You unfortunately, you need to have another girl break him in. Yes, for sure. Emotionally, I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. Is that a weird way to say it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have to get some reps in. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. a pre-workout. <laughs> pre-workout. pre-workout. <laughs> um, he says he has to ask his mom before he does things with you. Oh, the most egg. Yeah. The, the like, please, you have been dumped from the villa. Yeah. You have 30 <laughs> minutes to collect your belongings. Well, what about somebody whose mom calls them every day? Every day? Yes. Every day is kind of a lot. It depends, depends on how long on the call the, lasts. The call lasts, what they talk about, what yeah. the relationship is like, you know. Right. Is she I, there's sick? A lo- there's a lot. Talk to her every day. Yeah, right. there's a lot of levels. Yeah. Right. right. Um, I actually think that one might be. Yeah, because I, I like someone who talks to their parents every day. Yeah. Like yeah. Close family. Could be I yummy. talk to my parents every day. Yeah. That's great. Um, my parents are don't say that. <laughs> because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm busy, mom. No, no I'll honestly, call you later. My, my parents wouldn't give me a chance to not talk to them every day. Yeah. It's, that's, yeah. you know. <laughs> yes, correct. Um, he takes longer than you to get ready. <laughs> then Godspeed yeah. <laughs> to whatever party we're going to. <laughs> we'll see you next year. <laughs> How long does it take you a long time to get ready? I mean, it could take it could take me fifteen minutes, and it could take me an hour and a half. Mm, yeah. It just depends on what the hair is doing that day. Yes, yes. curly hair, mind of its own, mm-hmm. and sometimes you like throw on an outfit, and you're like, "I'm a genius." Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. This is the amazing. First take. And then other times you can't find, you're like, why do I own clothes? Because these are all ugly. Right. Yep. It's not yep. what you envisioned. You had you a look whole thing worked up in your head. I hate yeah. everything that's yep. here. Yeah. Um, I can get ready really fast, though. Yeah. This is the last one. He asks for your Snapchat over your number. I feel like this is something that a lot of girls deal with now. Yes. Really? Yeah. It, 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 I just I see that a lot. It. I I don't, yeah, I don't even have Snapchat. So yeah, <laughs> that's a big. It's a big thing for the for the younger gen. Perhaps yeah, that's, that's what gen, I, that might be a Gen Z thing. But that's, that's just I for see. dick pics, right? I don't know. I, I don't know. Think it like is. kids anymore. communicate on Snapchat because like my cousin will say to me like, "Oh, he Snapchatted me," or like, oh, "He Snapchatted me," but he didn't answer my text. And I'm like, "But like the Snapchat's just like him talking." You know what I mean? Like like it's a picture with something written. You know. So it's not so weird. I think Snapchat when it first started out with like was like for dick pics pics. and like nudes. Yeah. But now it's just to communicate. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a friend who's like that. I have a friend whose little sisters uh, are graduating high school and that's like how they communicate with a lot of the boys. Snapchat. Yeah. Feels like the safe option. Is it because it disappears so your parents can't see what you're talking about? Yeah. For your parents? 
I don't know. Maybe they are on your cloud. Or because I took it out. That's wait. Your parents can see what you're talking about on your. I mean, if you if your parents have your Apple ID yeah. login, they oh can, oh yeah, they your can see. Then they can see your messages. Yeah, yeah that would make sense. Um, I was thinking more of it being like that. Like it, Snapchat just seems a little bit friendlier than like if you were to text somebody. I don't know. I don't oh, know. Like I it's think more so. cash. Yeah, yeah, I think it's way it more is. casual. I think like it is. you wouldn't be like Snapchatting think, your girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> I think I the young. Think. I think the teen boys are sending some riskier They're messages trouble. on snapchat yeah, than probably. they would be yes. via text yes yeah. would be my that's guess. true that's true like, it disappears right yeah. so you can if really you're say, gonna send something that disappears uh-huh. yeah it's gotta be a little risky exactly right exactly. otherwise probably a boring conversation so, <laughs> if you're just sending it on snapchat just text me yeah, yeah just te- it's free I yeah. guess Snapchat's free. Yeah, yeah, it's all free. I don't know. <laughs> it's all free. It's so confusing. It is. <laughs> Help but... me! I'm terrified to have kids. <laughs> oh man! You... Just for that I reason. I wasn't even going to ask that question. <laughs> 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 you just opened it up. Oh <laughs> uh, no! I I sit with my younger cousins, and I'm like, I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Like, what? Truly. What? What are these things that you guys do, and, and the apps you use, and the and the people you talk to, and yeah, I'm old. That's fine. That's why being single is a nightmare. Well, we're not, but I'm just yeah, saying for right. <laughs> <laughs> well, none of us are, right, ladies? <laughs> well, we're good. <laughs> Don't worry, we're all good. I'm, I'm kidding. Can't. I didn't mean Sorry. It like that. People are going to be so mad I said that. But I'm uh, just saying, like, it's a lot of, it's a lot of stress. <laughs> And if not, I maybe these days on Love is Island. very stressful. Yeah, just come on Love Island USA. I'll get you. I'll get you. Yeah, yeah. I got you. It'll back. be smooth sailing for sure on Love Island. Yeah, for sure. Nothing. There won't be anyone with red flags. No. green flags only. No, I almost feel like they're just all made up of red flags on Love Island. No. <laughs> Do you? Are you? Have you been watching UK? Do you have this last season? That's I on haven't right seen now? this last. I haven't had time oh, to watch this last really season. Good. Yet. What? Isn't there like a nineteen-year-old? There is. That's scary. She is on there. She uh, honestly might be. She's like. She's my favorite. She really? She might be one of the more mature women in the. I just mean it's scary that she's so young and everyone else is just because of. The, oh, yes. Yeah. Like, totally. It, it, like that type of I, age difference is fine when yes. you're like. Mm-hmm. I just am like. At oh, first, she was, baby. At first, she was coupled up with if I was 19 older years guy. Old, I heard cause someone call me a baby. I'd punch them. I know. I know. So, yeah. like, I'm so sorry. Yeah, but then girl. you think back to like when you're 19 and you're like, I really was like. She's Very got young. a famous dad, so I think she has oh, okay. matured faster, and she's been like she's, she's been around a, the block, yeah. And Culture. she was paired up with a like a twenty seven ish year old guy, like at the beginning, and did the UK fans like were like, uh, uh-uh, yeah. this is weird, like yeah. this is yeah. this is giving us thick, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and she's been with, I think he's twenty three. Now it's the guy she's been with. For okay, most of the that's time not, bad. not bad. That's no. not, not bad. bad. It's like if you were f- like a freshman dating a senior. In yeah, college, you know. So yeah. I don't. I think I don't think it's that crazy. But no, but I think she's you're going to be like very caught mature. up in us because that you know that is your job and we will all yes. be watching and that's going to be your life for how many what the next two months maybe. Yeah, yeah. So that we're we're so guys, excited. we have so much when Island to watch. Re- go back oh, yes. around to UK. I will go back this around to UK. Been top notch. I know. I haven't been able to watch any, and I was so upset. It's oh, really no. good. It's how, how many it's, episodes of US are we getting? Do we know? I it's, think I know, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say. Yeah. Or not. Okay. Okay. It's we're you're getting a lot. It's more right. Yeah. Because I think that gives I these think people they put it out when it was first. I know. I'm not trying to trick you. We could look at you it. No, we can yeah. definitely, definitely find it. it. And we definitely talked about it. I just think it's gonna give it's a lot the Islanders much more of a chance to actually make a connection because so many of these past seasons of US like the couples don't last long at all and UK there's a lot of standing couples that are still together and I feel like it's because they get to be on the show for a lot longer yeah and so I'm glad the US is doing that I think that's gonna be really smart yeah I'm really excited a lot of Love Island to watch now we're we're, we're juggling both but honestly I love it. I, I <laughs> give me it. as much reality TV as I can possibly watch, and yep. I'll be happy. I know it's like a suit. It's like a like a lullaby. Yeah, like it's, I, a baby it's like blanket. the last thing I do before I go to bed. Like yes. I'm like, oh, I gotta watch tonight's Love Island. I feel safe, and it's like when you have nothing to do. You're like, I don't actually have nothing to do. You have an episode Love of Love Island. Island. I if have not to more. go root for the people that exactly. I like. Exactly. And I like that on we're in the U.S. so we can actually vote and yeah, exactly. play along. And we way. have Ian Sterling as the narrator. Yes, I forgot about that. So huge. That Massive. was so big. So Iconic. huge. Have you met yeah. him? No. I'm oh. very excited to. I really want to. Oh my God. I'm like <laughs> so jealous. I love him. That is honestly a game changer. It is. Yeah. 
he will be so good. So, yeah. um, Sarah, we are so excited to watch Love Island USA. Thank you so much for coming in. Everyone can watch it on Peacock uh, starting July 19th, and you can just binge it all. You can wait and binge it all. You can watch day by day. Uh, which is the way to go because then you get to, you know, play vote. along and vote. Download and do the all app. Those, Tuesday through Sunday. Do all those fun <sighs> things. Amazing. Beautiful. Cannot wait. Yes. Thank you so much for coming. Yes, in. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. 